Good morning, West Side. It is Wednesday again, and I have the opportunity to bring you my life journaling entry. Today we are looking at the book of Mark, chapter 4, verses 1 through 9. I'll read uh, this passage, and then I'll share my life journaling entry with you this morning. Again, Jesus began to teach by the lake. The crowd that gathered around him was so large that he got into a boat and set it out on the lake while all the people were along the shore at the water's edge. He taught them many things by parables, and in his teaching said, Listen, a farmer went out to sow his seed. As he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched and they withered because they had no root. Another seed fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plants, so that they did not bear grain. Still other seed fell on good soil. It came up, grew, and produced a crop, multiplying thirty, sixty, or even a hundred times. Then Jesus said, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Now, in the book of Mark, we hear this parable of Jesus when he tells the people. And then in the next passage, he explains the parable to the disciples. And I'm not going to explain the parable. That actually, hopefully, will be for tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to deal with that. But I wanted to deal with uh, verse number 9, where Jesus says, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. My observation for this verse is that the followers at the lake that day heard the parable, yet they lacked the understanding of what it meant. Those who read Mark's gospel hear the parable. They lack understanding, but then with further reading, they gain understanding of the meaning. Jesus' words in verse 9 are a challenge to all who hear his words. When Jesus, in my application, for this is when Jesus says hear if you have ears to hear he is not talking about sound waves exciting our ear canal and transmitting electrical signals to our brains no he is speaking of a person who has a heart soft and ready to receive his words to accept his teaching a heart that has already decided that when it comes to the teaching of Jesus the answer is yes this is where true life change occurs. It's in the listening over merely hearing, in the doing over merely hearing. It's in the applying his teachings to our lives over merely hearing his words. If his words only excite my mind but do not embed themselves in my heart, then I haven't truly listened. I may have the ability to hear, but I haven't heard. The key, though, is to decide before hearing that Jesus is Lord, his words are life, and that I will listen when he speaks. As a prayer for us as we go out into our day, I write, Lord, give me a heart to hear you and the will to listen to you, letting you have control. Help me be mindful of how you speak to me today. In your name, amen. Hope you all have a great day today.